Yonder spoilers Monday, September 16th reveal Claire may betray Newman, not only will she have to consider her own future, but she will also have to help Kyle Abbott overcome his family troubles. Things get tense as Kyle faces the consequences of his sneaky actions, especially the plots involving Victor Newman and Audra Charles. Kyle Abbott was once the pride of the Abbott family, but lately, his reckless decisions have left everyone worried. Kyle's mother, Diane Jenkins, has tried her best to smooth things over, but can't seem to change her son's rebellious ways. Jack Abbott, the father and patriarch of the Abbott family, has tried to extend an olive branch to save his relationship with Kyle. However, Jack's efforts are coldly rejected, making the situation even more tense. Claire steps in to help Kyle and the Abbott family. Claire believes that the key to resolving these family issues is open and honest communication. She has discussed with Kyle many times about facing his feelings and responsibilities. However, every time Kyle takes a step in the right direction, he seems to take a step back, still haunted by the tensions between him and his family. Although Kyle receives support from Claire, it is clear that Victor Newman has taken control of him. Victor, ambitious and ruthless by nature, has no intention of releasing Kyle from his influence. Victor has always used political tricks in business and family to achieve his goals, and Kyle's fall into this spiral is no exception. Diane, worried about her son, decides to confront Victor directly. Diane is not one to be easily subdued. She is willing to fight to protect Kyle and the Abbott family from Victor's tricks. In a tense confrontation, Diane challenges Victor and demands that he release Kyle from her control. She also reminds Victor that, although Kyle and Summer are no longer married, they still have a child together and that the Abbots will still be a part of Kyle's life. However, Victor is not easily swayed. He argues that all things in business and life are fair, and that he has the right to control the situation the way he wants. This makes Diane even more worried and upset, but she knows that dealing with Victor is not an easy fight. Despite Diane's best efforts, Kyle eventually faces the consequences of his actions. Meanwhile, Audra Charles, who once stood by Kyle, is hiding secrets. After Nate Hastings hints that he knows the identity of the mysterious investor, Audra tries to cover things up. But Kyle, no longer trusting Audra, contacts Victor and reveals that Audra is not trustworthy. Victor, being his decisive personality, will handle the situation in his own way, possibly destroying Audra for her betrayal. Audra, in a pinch, realizes that Kyle was the one who stabbed her in the back. This could lead to revenge from Audra, and Kyle may face bigger trouble in the near future. As he tries to move forward with his family, his personal problems pile up. Elsewhere, Billa Summers is planning something big. She has made a bold proposal to Billy Abbott, which will result in Phyllis becoming the COO of Abbott Chancellor. However, Billy's decision has increased the risk of losing Chance Chancellor, the company's co-founder. Billy's decision to hire Phyllis was a reckless move, and now he may face serious consequences. Phyllis's arrival at Abbott Chancellor will not only change the face of the company, but will also put Billy in a difficult position with his colleagues and family. When Lily Winters, Billy's business partner and former romantic interest, finds out, she may feel betrayed. Lily, despite having struck a deal with Victor Newman, is worried that Victor could turn on her at any moment. Lily believed she had a solid deal with Victor, but in the world of Genoa City, nothing is certain. Victor has promised Nikki Newman a position of power, and Lily may face betrayal if she doesn't get what she expected from Victor. If this happens, will Lily turn on Victor and ally with others to protect her interests? The stories of Claire, Kyle, Victor, Diane, Phyllis, and Billy are interwoven in a complex web of intrigue, love, and betrayal. Genoa City is never short of drama, and every decision the characters make can have dire consequences. In the intrigue-filled and troubled world of the young and the restless, Diane Jenkins is facing a major challenge. Although her marriage to Jack Abbott is stronger than ever, her fractured relationship with her son Kyle Abbott has left a deep scar on her heart. Diane can't help but blame herself for making Kyle feel abandoned when she faked her own death, leaving him behind during their childhood years. This has created a huge gap between them that is difficult to heal. Diane is racked with guilt. She knows that faking her own death has caused irreparable damage to Kyle. Every time she sees her son, she can't forget the pain Kyle went through without his mother. Kyle, in recent encounters, has been quick to remind his mother of the deep wounds in his heart that he can't easily forgive. The pain comes not only from the loss, but also from the betrayal he feels from his own mother. 
But how far will Diane go to make amends? She is willing to do anything to mend her relationship with her son, even if it means putting her in danger and jeopardizing her marriage to Jack. Is she willing to trade her husband's love for Kyle's trust? Jack is in a difficult position, torn between protecting his marriage to Diane and maintaining his relationship with his son. Although he loves Kyle dearly, Jack cannot deny that Kyle has been acting like a spoiled brat, irresponsible at work at Tabot. When Diane is forced to fire Kyle from the company, Jack fully supports the decision. He believes that if Kyle were not their son, any employee who acted similarly would have received a termination letter much sooner. Jack understands that sometimes the best thing a parent can do for their child is to expose them to the harsh realities of life. He suggests to Diane that perhaps the only way Kyle can grow is to let him fall and face his mistakes. Diane, while agreeing in theory, can she really do it? Love and torment could change her mind at any moment. While the Abbott family is struggling with internal troubles, Victor Newman, with his uncompromising nature, is ready to take advantage of the situation to exact his revenge. Victor has never given up on his ambition to overthrow Jack Abbott and gain control of Jabot. This fall, Victor is more dangerous than ever, as he focuses all his efforts on creating chaos in the Abbott household. Victor sees the strained relationship between Jack, Diane and Kyle as the perfect opportunity to carry out his plan of sabotage. He may use the conflict between Diane and Jack to sow more distrust and uncertainty. Diane, while trying to reconcile with Kyle, may become a pawn in Victor's hands, if he knows how to manipulate her. Diane is now at a crucial crossroads in her life. She may go behind Jack's back to achieve her goals with Kyle, despite the risks to her marriage. Diane is the CEO of Jabot, which gives her great power within the company. She can decide Kyle's future at Jabot, even over Jack's consent. The question is whether Diane dares to use that power? If she decides to go against her husband, it will not only hurt Jack, but it could also throw the Abbott family into irreparable chaos. Furthermore, if Victor pushes Diane, she is likely to make a deal with him. Diane may give Victor inside information about Jabot in exchange for protecting Kyle. This would not only be a betrayal of Jack, but also a dangerous move in Diane's career. Victor is someone who never stops at what he achieves, and allying with him could cost Diane dearly. Kyle, throughout this process, also faces his own difficulties and troubles. Although he seems to be caught between Diane and Jack's influence, his betrayal of Jabot and his family cannot be ignored. Kyle was once the pride of the Abbott family, but now, he is falling into a self-destructive spiral. Kyle's struggle is not only about his job, but also about his inner pain. He has never truly overcome the feeling of abandonment since his mother faked her death. Diane, despite her best efforts to mend her relationship with her son, finds Kyle hard to forgive. Meanwhile, Victor continues to plot to destroy the Abbott family, and the war between the most powerful people in Genoa City continues. What will happen next? There will be many unpredictable developments and decisions that can change the entire situation. Subscribe to Yonder to stay up to date with the latest news on our channel.